Hello! In this tutorial on, uh, on C++ I want to show you the exception handling. Ok, first of all, what is an exception? Exception can be anything, a wrong number, uh, error in the program, anything. Ok, uh, usually if you have an error, you don't want uh, your program to collapse because the user who used the program tells that this program is stuck always. Uh, uh, crash without any error message. Yeah, that is why the exception handling is good. Exception handling is pretty much if happen to be an exception somewhere, it will not collapse the program, but through an exception, and then you can catch the exception. These are keywords actually. Throw, catch and try. These, key these are keywords. So, uh, you catch the exception and you do something with it. For example, uh, write out an error message uh, without uh, the program crash. So it is just as simple as that. Alright, uh, let's start. Uh, 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 another explanation actually. Uh, if you have a program, every big program has layers in the th bottom layer, so the low level layer, there are some low level functions like memory allocation and uh, other low level functions and in the upper, uh, in the top uh, layer there is the highest level things like user interface, for example the GUI and uh, graphical user interface and uh, so there is the user, usually the user interface in the top level. So, but how this can communicate? Although I said although I said that there are a few mm, uh, or may I didn't said. Ah, I think I didn't. Never mind. Uh, so there are a few other ways uh, to uh, handle exception. For example, with return type. There is a return type in main and actually this should indicate an error. Ok, but if you have a function like uh, more level down, like for example we have uh, int fun and inside that func we have another fun function called not the recursive function, just normal function. Uh, Oh, by the way, I didn't. Th I think I didn't talk about prototypes. I always just write it before main just to make it everything cleaner. Uh, yeah, you can make it function prototypes right here, and now you can make it after it, as it will not know. So the compiler will not know uh, if there is a function or what the hell is that? It 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 is. What is the hell is that? if there is no function prototype or the function is actually not declared or defined before it. So this is important. If you want to declare it after it, after the function, you have to put a prototype, so the definition of the function up. up. Uh, or you can write the function to upper and uh, then the prototype is not needed. Never mind, so make the function 2 and and just write something like that so what happened if there is an error uh, actually make an error so write a number and if the oh first read it so int mm, i and read it to i so if i equals zero then we have a problem so return with the one else oh else uh me write it out ten uh, divided by uh what i is equal to
Oh. So it's logical that we cannot uh, divide by zero. This is a uh, uh, error, of course. Okay, and how can you indicate that there is an error? For example, in here you return with one. Okay, but in function, so the normal function we cannot uh, use so we cannot uh, write out because we want to write something out in the upper so uh, make return function to okay in main we call the function if function then we write out error divided by zero all right and try to compile and run the program the number what number oh i not number okay and run the program and try to zero error divided by zero okay try to one okay it works but it not work very well actually and uh, and uh, that because it should be zero so as you can see it's very complicated to to uh, do it with a chain of return and else and uh, so so this is a very complicated way and second it doesn't work very well because uh, it is not uh, uh, uniformly so uh, for example the this main will return zero if there is no error but maybe you will create a function like this which will uh, uh, return with zero if there is an error because zero means false and yeah you see because true means everything is correct but false means something wrong yeah that is a solution so not uniform you can uh, and mostly if uh, not one people write the entire program but lot of people write the, the different part of the program that could be very difficult to remember that is one or zero mean the error okay the other way of exception handling actually error handling in earlier before exception handling is to set a global value to to an error code so actually there is a global value in c and c plus plus of course which which is uh, exactly uh, for this purpose called uh, error no so error number uh, yeah but this prog uh, this has the same problem as with this so it's not uniformly uh, and the other program problem is if there is more than one error one error will uh, actually override the other error so you can handle one uh, error but you don't know that there is another error because uh, the global value was uh, actually overwritten so it w could be catastrophic and the other way a lot of people forget to always check the error no uh, global var variable okay uh, and now the best solution is comes called exception Han uh, exception through an exception so through an exception through 10 for example in this uh, very simple tutorial and in here we don't uh, use this although we call the function but we use the try and catch block so between try and catch okay and now we want to catch an integer i and uh, if it is happened so we can we uh, catch an error then now we can run the program uh, write zero 
an exception as you can see right one and there is no exception okay so how does it work first if uh, so first thing is through an exception then this exception try to find a handle which can handle this exception so it doesn't find here nowhere an exception handler so we just so at catch block with the correct type actually so we go up a level we go up to this function there is no try and catch block no so we go up another level so go up here and yeah finally find an exception handler which has the correct type and now it can handle the exception we can write here like uh, uh, error code i and it will uh, it will be this uh, value 10 because this uh, whatever we throw will be uh, passed here so to this variable simple enough right okay but usually it is it is a bad idea to, to throw an exception on other building type usually the best thing is to create uh, a class for that so create a class class error call it error actually not class make it a struct because we want every t uh, member to be uh, public and it has a const char c and it has an int uh, code and it has a simple constructor so error and uh, it waits for a const char uh, error and an int n and just uh, and just make c to error and uh, uh, code to n just as simple as that okay now we will uh, through an error so error error and write something in here uh, division by zero okay and another parameter 10 okay like that and we have to change the try block uh, actually a catch block so it will catch an error e and error and we don't write this here we write instead the E dot uh, error I think oh, what C E dot C uh, you should give a better name for that and error code will be E dot uh, code simple enough now if I just run the program and enter the zero as you can see it's write out division by zero it is uh, contained by the C uh, and we passed in here the C okay and uh, yeah that's it 